in one minute only ah, i don't know if i can um if I can say that short. Okay, I'm a very fun-loving person online. I love being crazy. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I record these videos and they, they're they always very dumb. I never, I don't know why I never record anything smart or intelligent, you know, but I'm a very smart person. Uh, ooh, I think I joined in 2006. Eight, I think it was in 2008 and it was out of peer pressure my brother was like oh, there is this you know a uh, social media platform is called Facebook you have to join it you have to join I was like why why do I have to join it and why are we what, what I know what book I don't want to read no book why is on my face on this book no so the first one was Facebook and then I um, I joined Twitter because at the time uh, I was working at homeboys radio and they told me because I was an ent I was an entertainment head and they told me that I have to join Twitter to find out the latest news to just you know follow celebrities and a lot of news was breaking online and you know to have to be uh, to be ahead you had to get on on Twitter and then came Instagram and I love taking pictures just like every other girl in the world um, so that one did not need much forcing I think that one I just joined and it's now the most uh, the most social media platform that I use so check me out on Instagram Oh, that's so easy, cyberbullying. It's so disappointing that on a platform such as that, you know, you're online and you don't have a picture, you just have an egg. And the one thing that you can choose to be online, of the many different adjectives that you could use to describe yourself, a lot of people act out to be stupid. It's, it's mind-boggling. And when I see a lot of people being trolled, either because they do their fat or because of their something about their face and you know something about their teeth, it's, it's terrible. Um, I don't think it's a game of numbers. I think it's a game of impact. You know, it's what are you doing? What are you saying? You know, um, is it entertaining? Is it informative? Is it um, educational? I mean, what material are you putting out? It's just like in every other show in the world, whether it's on radio, whether it's on TV, people like learning, people like, you know, understanding things. So how are you explaining what it is that you're tweeting? If you're tweeting stupidity or if you're tweeting hateful things, no one's gonna follow you or no one's gonna want to follow you. So it's not a game of numbers. I have um, a very good friend of mine, in fact, who is a case in point. He's called Jomo Sheri and he's my producer at the office and he's also, um, um, he's also a uh, social media bigwig as we call it in the 254 and he does it I have tripled the numbers I think on Twitter that he has but if you would talk about something it would tweet so it's about impact it's not about the numbers so you and your one follower if you're saying something useful it'll grow and it'll grow and it'll grow so it's about what you're saying that'll create the impact don't look at the numbers <laughs>